article is kind of interesting today. I guess we've all seen those drone videos where they claim they test to see how much impact they have with an airplane, like that infamous Dayton one right now where they fire like a phantom and it pretty much just rips through their wing. This one says, team studies drone strikes on airplanes by firing them into a wall at 500 miles per hour. Bird strikes are a very real danger to planes in flight and consequently aircraft are required to undergo bird strike testing. But what about drones? And according to this it says the purpose of it is meant to establish some basic parameters for how these things ought to be tested. From a mechanical point of view, drones behave differently to birds and also weigh considerably more. It is therefore uncertain whether an aircraft that has been successfully tested against bird strike would also survive a collision with a drone. The team chose to load an air cannon with drone batteries and engines, since those make up most of the given UAV's mass. The propellers and arms on which they're mounted are generally pretty light and will break easily. Compared with a battery weighing the better part of a kilogram, they won't add much to the damage. And you can see, I guess, the aftermath of the picture they showed. For more specifics, it says the drones were fired at speeds from 250 to 570 miles per hour at aluminum plates of up to 8 millimeters of thickness. Unsurprisingly, there was substantial deformation. So as they say, more tests needs to be done and for them to figure out what specific types of, I guess, parameters needs to be used to properly test, I guess, how well or how bad a drone could damage an aircraft. Although it's kind of funny where they say it's not as big as a bird. <laughs> Have you seen the size of like Canadian geese, man? I think it's way bigger than like what most consumer drones that people fly. Alright, see you guys later.